Hello and welcome to Cosmological Arguments. I'm your host, John Bannon. The argument from logic. The arguments from the laws of logic proves the existence of God by demonstrating that the laws of logic are necessarily true in the cosmos and require a necessarily existent mind we call God. The laws of logic are necessary truths about truths. Three examples of the laws of logic are the law of identity, the law of non-contradiction, and the law of excluded middle. They are necessarily true propositions. Propositions are real entities, but cannot be physical entities. Physical entities are contingent, whereas the laws of logic are necessary. The laws of logic are essentially thoughts, so the laws of logic are necessarily true thoughts. Because they are true in every possible world, they must exist in every possible world. But if there are necessarily existent thoughts, there must be a necessarily existent person. A necessarily existent person must be spiritual in nature because no physical entity exists necessarily. Thus, if there are laws of logic, there must also be a necessarily existent personal spiritual being we call God. So uh, the argument from logic says that because there are these uh, laws of logic and that these are necessarily true, um, they're never false and they're always true, that uh, they must be necessarily real, um, real laws. And because they can't have a physical existence, because physical things are contingent, um, and because these laws are always true, they can't be a contingent thing, which sometimes would not be true when the thing doesn't exist, because it's contingent on something else to cause it. So these would have to be necessarily true uh, laws of logic and non-physical. They're, they're thoughts. So because they're thoughts and they're necessary thoughts, then um, there must be a necessary being that contains these thoughts because all other beings are contingent. So it proves God by proving that these laws of logic are necessarily uh, existing um, truths that are not physical and are thoughts and therefore must have a necessarily existent mind that is the mind of God in order to always exist, in order to always be true, always be existent. Um, the laws of logic are typically these three uh, basic laws, which are truths about truths themselves. You have the law of identity, the law of non-contradiction, and uh, the law of the excluded middle. The law of identity is basically A equals A, or a thing is that thing. Uh, the law of uh, non-contradiction is uh, no statement can be both true and false. So it's either A is B or A is not B, but it can't be both. Both statements can't be true. And then you have the law of excluded middle, which says that every statement must be either true or false. There's no middle ground. So, uh, you, you have either A is true or not A is true, but there's no middle ground. It's got to be one of these two have to be true. So these are very basic laws of logic. Um, the argument from logic says that these are necessary metaphysical realities. Uh, and because they are always, they must always be true. They must always exist. And because the only non-contingent mind that can contain such a necessary thought is God, then God must exist uh, in order for these things to exist. Uh, if you wanted to use a symbol for this uh, argument, uh, I would use this. So here you basically... You have a cross, um, which represents uh, Christianity, and it's pointing up towards God. So it's two L's, the laws 
of logic. All right. Um, I hope you learned something and uh, take care.